I want to introduce you to someone and that someone is here. This is Mr. Jambe and he is an African drum. He has come all the way from Africa to here to say you hello. So can you say hello to Mr. Jambe? Yes, yes, we heard that hello. Thank you, thank you. Do you want to speak to uh, Mr. Jambe? Mr. Jambe, children want to listen to you. Would you please speak to them? Yeah, Mr. Jambe would also like to speak to you. So do you want to learn the language of Mr. Jambe? Then be ready. Here we go. I, uh, yeah, I understand you all wouldn't have Jambe. So what all you can do is, quickly you can go to the kitchen, get a thali. And if not, that's fine. You can use your tabletops. You can also use your laps. Yeah. So, Mr. Jambe is telling, Hello. Now, How do you play that? See? One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Repeat. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. 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 All right. Now, let's make it together. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. guess the story is about drum the title of the story is the jackal and a drum here the story goes one evening in Sundarvan all the animals were frantically running here and there they were all helter skelter they were going from here to there and from there to here those who lived in the cave decided to stay in the cave those who were on the trees decided to stay on the trees but all of them made sure that they are not seen by anyone and they were so 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 scared and hiding jamna bai our jackal jamna bai she too was running very fast and she was panting frantically. <laughs> Hello, me, me Zamna Bai, the jackal. Me to lakai sante, lopunza kuthe tari par, lopunza. Go and hide somewhere. The humans are around. They might catch us. So, go and hide. Who told me? Uh, Miss Cheetah. She saw them and she ran so fast that she went inside the jungle and she hid. But me, I cannot run that fast. So I'm still finding some way. I'm still finding some places to go and hide. But shh, don't tell anyone. So, our Jamna Bai kept on finding a place for hiding from one place to another, from another to another, to another to another, from another to another. And throughout the night, she kept on finding places and hiding herself. Now, the humans 
also stayed in the jungle throughout the night. So no one could come out. Why did they stay? Oh, they were eating, they were dancing and they were They were eating, dancing and drumming throughout the night and so the animals were all hiding up. They all took the sigh of relief once after the humans left, left Sundavan. Slowly and gradually all of them started coming out and they were just moving around. Our Jamnabai, she too came out. She was so hungry. She couldn't have even her dinner last night because she was busy hiding herself. So she was very hungry. She searched for some food. She walked, she walked, and suddenly she got a grin on her face. What did she see? See, she saw a squirrel. She was eating a nut. And our Jamnagai went there. She said, hello, Mr. Squirrel. So you're eating nut, huh? Such a pleasing crackling sound. How about we both have that nut together? A sound came and Jamnabai and the squirrel both got scared. Before Jamnabai could gather herself, using this as a chance, squirrel went up the tree along with her nut. From there, she told to Jamnabai, Oh, I know, you didn't want to have my nut. You wanted to eat me. <laughs> I cannot be fooled by you. <laughs> Jamnabai, all her green had went off. And this sound, pathetic. <laughs> she started walking ahead. She went ahead and she didn't walk much. There she saw Miss Rabbit. And again, a grin came on her face. She went there and she told, Hello, Miss Rabbit. Did you have lunch? Oh, I have. So, so what? So how are being mine? Ah! Again that sound? Using this also as a chance, Miss Rabbit also went away. She went almost near her burrow and she said, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> and she went inside the burrow. Poor Jamna Bai, she was so angry and upset. Mm, this sound. She was disappointed. She was angry. She was frightened, but still she was irritated with that sound and she just wanted to go away and run away. And somewhere she stole that sound. Who are you? And why do you want to scare me with that? No one answered. She looked around. No one answered. Again the sound came. Jamnabai, though was frightened, again asked, Tell me and answer me, who are you? As again there was no answer, she went inside, sorry, she went towards the direction of the sun. She started walking and walking and walking. Finally, she reached to the spot from where the sun was coming. What was there? There was a tree and a branch was hanging from that tree and that was hitting a drum which was producing the sound. But how would Jamnabai know? Jamnabai had never seen a drum before in her life. So slowly she went there. She tried putting one of her paw on the drum. The sound came. She tried putting her another paw on drum. The sound came. Now she went back and she ran 
and she jumped on the drum. Even bigger sound came. By now, our Jamna Bai learned a few things. She came to know this is not an animal. Second thing, this cannot attack back. Third thing, it is not food which I can eat. But still, she wanted to look what it actually is. So she took the drum in her hand. She turned it from left to right, from right to left, upside down, from down to top. She searched and she looked and she was trying to figure out. Now she understood that the sound is coming when she is hitting the top. So there must be a hollow space and inside that space there could be food. Why not? So she started beating the top. On beating till the top she tore it when she tore that top she looked inside uh -oh. alas there was nothing to eat no food she was hoping for she told to herself all is well all is well no problem if I have not got the food it's okay at least I could get rid of the fear I had. <laughs>